So a vector is sort of like a set of directions. It describes movement of something. We'll get straight into a question here. Find the magnitude, that's the length, and the direction of the vector 4i plus 5j. Well, our positive i direction is the positive horizontal direction. Up until this point, you'll have called that the x direction. But in vectors, it's the i direction. The j direction is what you would have called the y direction up until now. But again, in vectors, we call it the j direction. So find the magnitude and direction of the vector 4i plus 5j. OK, so starting at this point here, 4i takes us four steps in the i direction and 5j takes us five steps in the j direction. So we move from here to here. The resulting vector is the direct route between these. So this vector here is the is called the resultant. Okay, so we move four in that direction and five in that direction. So the magnitude is the length of the resultant and hopefully realize we can find this for using Pythagoras. The magnitude or length of the resultant is root of 4 squared plus 5 squared, which is root of 41. So the magnitude is equal to root 41. And I'll mark this on the diagram here. Now a bit more difficult, but only slightly, is the direction. Everything is relative to the positive i direction. So everything is relative to this arrow here pointing directly right. The direction is the angle it makes anti-clockwise with this i direction. So we start on this axis here, the positive i axis, and move anti-clockwise until we hit the resultant. Right, this here is the angle that we're trying to find. Okay, so now, using trigonometry, as we did in GCSE, we know that this side is the opposite this side is the adjacent, therefore we're going to use TOA. So tan theta equals opposite over adjacent, which means that theta is the inverse tan, sometimes called the arc tan of this. So let's work it out. Inverse tan of 5 over 4 is equal to 51.3 degrees. Therefore, the direction is 51.3 degrees. So to summarize, magnitude equals root 41, direction theta equals 51.3 degrees. Now let's do a similar example, but using the vector in a different form. So find the magnitude and direction of the vector 7, 2. So part B, 7, minus 2. Now this top one is the I direction, much like in vectors from GCSE. This was the X direction, and this one here is the J direction. So as before... take our origin point and we move seven steps in the i direction and minus two in the j direction and it's important that you try to make the diagram as accurate as possible so seven in that direction and two in that direction okay so the resultant vector is this one here just try to make it a bit bolder. Okay, so the angle we're naturally going to find is this one here. But we'll come back to that in a second. First of all, the magnitude is root of 7 squared plus, in brackets, minus 2 squared. Because all of that, that's going to need to be squared. So 7 squared plus... 
minus 2 squared, which is equal to root of 53. And that's the magnitude. Slightly more difficult now is finding the direction. Because the direction is anti-clockwise relative to the positive eye direction. So this is the positive eye direction. So we're going to start here and go anti-clockwise all the way around until we hit the resultant. So actually, it's this big angle here that we need. Well, let's start to find out what theta is. So tan of theta equals the opposite over the adjacent equals 2 sevenths, which means that theta equals the inverse tan of 2 sevenths, which is equal to, so the inverse tan of 2 sevenths is equal to 15.9 degrees, but that's not good enough. We need this angle here, starting from the positive i axis all the way around to our resultant. Well, we can just do 360, take that. So the direction equals 360. Take our previous answer, 15.9. Now, notice in the calculator, to save any rounding errors, I'm going to do 360, take, then press the answer button, which uses my previous answer. Okay, which then ends up with 344 four degrees to three significant figures. 344 four degrees to three significant figures. And that's us done with that example.